Hi, Fun Astrology fam. This is Liz Grace Christie. I'm going to be in the LA area with Thomas on December 29th, and we're curious if you would like to come and talk astrology with us. That's right, Liz Grace. We're officially on. We've had enough interest. December 29th in the afternoon. If you're in SoCal and free that afternoon, please email me at funastrologypodcast at gmail.com. Just say, I'm interested, and we'll keep you informed on the details. And we're wondering where you're coming from so we can find a cool place to meet. The afternoon of December 29th, somewhere in Southern California. Email your interest to funastrologypodcast at gmail.com. I sure hope you all can join us. Welcome in to a holiday week, at least in the United States and in the UK. Canada did this back in October, but we are going to celebrate Thanksgiving on Thursday, I guess in the UK and in the United States this week. Am I right on that? That's what it looks like to me. And then, like I said, Canada did this back in uh, mid-October. But, you know, really, it's a day that we should be celebrating every day, giving thanks having gratitude radiate right out of our aura, one of the best energies we can put out into the ethers. So we should be doing it every day, but this week we get to do it with our families. Well, some do. And actually, the sky is going to take a holiday toward the end of the week as well, because really, from Thursday all the way to Sunday, we don't have anything except one lunar sign change. The moon will leave Scorpio and enter Sagittarius on Saturday, Otherwise, it's a really clear sky all the way from Thursday through the end of the weekend. Today, the big one, you've already heard about it from everywhere. Mercury goes retrograde this evening at 9.42 p.m. Eastern. And thank goodness I got the Merriman audiobook forecast 2025 done on Friday, fortunately ahead of the retrograde. But something that Ray mentioned, and I thought, I'll just play a clip because you, that way you can get a little bit of taste of the book. The last couple of chapters are on the retrogrades in 2025, Mercury, Venus, and Mars. And in the Mercury retrograde section, he talks about the fact that we've been experiencing Mercury retrogrades from mostly over the last, well, 2023 and some of 2024, Earth signs. There were four retrogrades, well, I'm counting December 2022, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then we've had... Aries, Virgo, Sag this year. So we're moving into fire. The three Mercury retrogrades in 2025 will all be in fire signs. And in 2026, it moves to water. And by 2028, we've come around to air. Ray had some great observations about this. And since the next upcoming Mercury retrogrades will be coming from fire signs, I thought you might enjoy hearing this little section from the book Forecast 2025. As one can see, the elements of Mercury retrograde in 2025 are mainly in fire signs, but shifting toward water. This represents a collective shift from hopes and ideals that are enthusiastic, excitable, confident, adventurous, and demanding that things get done now, to ones that are more emotionally based, protective, and averse to criticism or perceived failures for acting too rashly. In the fire element, mercury communications tend to be quick and often poorly thought out. Ideas and solutions will be plentiful, and the urge to open up global trade will be desired. However, negotiations to do so may become contentious if one of the parties delays or obstructs the process that the other party wishes to commence quickly. Think of Mercury retrograde and fire signs as attempts to communicate trying to integrate with the fiery rulers of those signs, Mars, the Sun, and Jupiter. Communications are apt to be quick, impulsive, and reactionary. With the influence of Mars, they can be prone to arguments or confrontations. In driving, one must be careful of accidents, cuts to the hands, or speeding tickets. With the sun, exchanges can be bright and hopeful, with an eye toward a vibrant, healthy future. With Jupiter, ideas may be optimistic, but also inflated and based more on beliefs and ideology rather than logic, data, or experience. It would be wise for leaders, and for all people, 
to think and reflect before speaking with anger, bravado, or combativeness. For writers and speakers, these Mercury retrograde periods can be very rewarding. In fire signs, one is passionate about expressing one's ideas. Furthermore, these thoughts may be very inspired. It is as if one is bursting with new ideas to write or communicate. There is a sense of excitement and revelations about what one is discovering within one's mind. This can be powerful. These ideas may uplift the individual experiencing them and also the person to whom the individual communicates. This is an excellent time to get those ideas written out, but be careful they don't offend. Brilliance and cleverness must combine with some diplomacy to be of interest to others. If one comes across as too passionate, too overconfident, and even a bit out of control, the positive qualities of mercury and fire signs will be dismissed by others and will be lost. Moving towards water signs is just the opposite of fire signs. Instead of being confident and bold in one's ideas and communications, the tone turns more defensive. One can still be creative and imaginative, but if not productive and seeing results from efforts, one can become despondent and entertain self-doubts. So 2025 are fire, Mercury retrogrades. 2026 is when we begin the water series. All right, isn't that great stuff? Just the learning is just fantastic in that book. It is incredible. And as soon as the book is out, I will let you know. Unfortunately, I guess it's going to be released under Mercury Retrograde, but that's just the way the timing goes. The rest of the big book will be out in mid-December, so I think the plan is that the audiobook will be out a little bit before the print books. Hope you have a great start to the week here on Monday, and I will be back tomorrow. Elisa is going to join us Wednesday for a Thanksgiving prep episode that's going to be great. Have a good one. I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>